Hello there. This is my uh, number one guitar. It's my baby. It's a L series, a Dakota Red 1963 Fender Stratocaster. And I very much love to play this guitar. But with all the uh, horror stories coming up of guitars getting mangled on airplanes and stuff, there's no chance that I'm going to travel with that. So what I did is I picked up a relatively inexpensive uh, made Mexico uh, Fender uh, 60s road worn Strat. And uh, with a little setup, uh, once I got it, it actually uh, it's actually a pretty nice guitar. They did a good job. Um, it's not too bad. Um, I also did a few upgrades to it uh, as well. I put in a new capacitor, a Sprague orange drop uh, under pickguard shield, and uh, went overboard with the copper shielding inside, um, and a Fralin uh, base plate as well for the uh, for the uh, bridge pickup. But the upgrade I'm really looking most forward to putting in uh, that I'm doing this video about is the Killer Guitar Components brass uh, tremolo block that I'm putting in. And also I got the, uh, the claw to go with it as well. It's the Mega Mass uh, block and the brass claw, the uh, raw springs. And I also got the Mega Stop too for the... I don't use the tremolo, but I figure it'll uh, help add a bit of tone to the body or what have you. I don't know look cool anyway. So I'm really looking forward to putting those into the guitar. What I wanted to do was uh, do a little uh, before and after sort of thing so you can hear the difference hopefully uh, um, between the uh, stock uh, cruddy sort of zinc uh, block or whatever it is they put in there that's not very good and then the uh, the brass one that I put in from Killer Guitar Components. Uh, pretty excited to get that in so what I'm doing here is I've plugged straight in no uh, dry as a bone no reverb no fancy stuff no compressors no anything just plugged straight into uh, vintage Fender twin amp silver face um, running the EQ all pretty flat looks like everything's at seven or so turn the reverb off and everything so it would be pretty pure and so I'll just strum a few chords on this guitar as it is and then uh, I'll install the uh, trem block and all the other goodies there, and uh, then we'll uh, come back and do a few more tests on it and uh, compare the two. Alright, so the uh, the brass block, the mega stop, and the brass claw all went in super easy, installed no problem, everything fit perfectly, uh, instructions were basic, I had it back together in no time, you have it all str strung up. First thing I noticed, it's really quite significant, is the, you know, unamplified, just the, the resonance of the guitar. It's not necessarily louder it's just it's just more full and balanced basically uh, whereas before with the with the older block if I were to strum it's kind of a mid spiky sort of thing whereas this has has a real full all down all the strings it's really quite nice very stable sounding it just feels great plus it's uh, gorgeous to look at all right so um, I left the amp as it was um, and I plugged straight into it again, like, uh, like I had it in the before part. Um, so I'm just going to strum similar sort of chords and, uh, and, uh, we'll see the difference. <laughs> Thank you. 
So in short, I'm really impressed with uh, with the Killer Guitar Components brass uh, block. This one is the Mega Mass. Um, I had it engraved as well, so it looks really cool. Um, and uh, so I'm I'm completely happy. It's it's I consider it quite an upgrade. And uh, so if you have a guitar like this and you want to really uh, pick up the tone and uh, just give it a bit a lot more beef and clarity, uh, definitely a great upgrade. Um, so I'm gonna stop talking now and. Uh, Go plug into some toys and do some jamming. <laughs> Thanks for watching.